All right, hello there out there. I apologize in advance if I sound a little more monotone and tired than usual. Uh, I'm working seven days a week night turn, so I don't really have much free time, but I saw that there was an update to day Z, and I wanted to update my profile, but not really make it official yet, so I figured, hey, this is a good opportunity to, you know, impart some of my knowledge to you and let you change the profile yourself. So, okay. Well, let's assume you don't know what the hell is going on with my profile. You want to know how to copy and paste it. That seems to be a pretty common frustration for people. I'm not showing you how to set up XPatter. You already set up XPatter to map out the buttons, you just need to get a profile in there. So, right now when I turn it on, it this it's defaulting to my Daisy profile. Let's go, here's all my stuff. You can see I use XPatter quite a bit, so let's just go to Windows Basic. Okay, now first thing, once you have XPatter mapped, you should, you know, like I'm using the controller right now, I'm not using the mouse, so you can use it in desktop just so you know that it's working. So okay, how do I copy and paste in that fancy as hell Daisy profile? You go to a few places, but easiest would be go to the Steam thread that I made. Links are always in the descriptions. And Kapal, all this stuff right here. Expatter profile data. Highlight it. And you copy. Okay, it's copied. How the hell do you paste it? Over here, in XPatter, this little notepad icon, click on that. And this will let you make a new profile, open the ones you have. Right here, paste. Kapow. Whoa, look at that. You have my Daisy XPatter profile in XPatter. You can test it out, like I'm holding the bumper, so you can see right here, you know, it's it's on actions right now. I let it go, it goes back to the default. It's a good idea to look this over, or study the image layout that I made. So, okay, anyways. Daisy added throwing, which is assigned to G on the keyboard. I don't have that in the profile. So, and I'm not quite sure where I want it yet because I haven't had time to play it and test it around. I'm thinking, for now, quick and easy, let's put it up on this vault hop. But let's do it while we're holding the action modifier. Eh, eh, yeah, like whatever. I'm not sure I'm going to like that, but just to show you how to do it, let's do that for now. So we'll click on the actions set, click up on vault hop. This brings up the keyboard. From here, you can see right now, it's assigned to V. Let's uh, change it to throw item. No. Big ass throw. That's, that's what it will be called. And that's going to be G. Big ass throw, the G. So now you want to click back onto the default. Okay, so we check it. Big ass throw, all right. So now, in the game, when I'm holding the LB modifier, I will hit Y, and that will now be G instead of uh, Vault. So, let's get into the game and see if that shit works. Okay. Also, I should mention, I had to go into Controls uh, assignments, and I had to make, where is it, yeah, okay, infantry weapons, I had to assign G for throw item, it was not assigned for me, so, I don't know if you're gonna have to as well, but, if you wanna throw stuff, you might wanna check, infantry weapons, throw it, G. Okay, so let's go test it. Wait for it to load. Uh, 
Apologize for a yawn. It's 10 in the morning for you, but for me, I'm working night turn, so this is like way past my bedtime. But I love you all so much that I'm forcing myself to do this crap for you. You see what you do to me, what you make me do. Alright. <sighs> um, okay. Alright, there we are. So, let's... Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go. Oh, am I going to be booted from the server? Ugh. I'm not even going to get the chance to try it. So now, I'm holding... LB modifier and Y. Woo! I threw it. Okay, so it worked. And if you uh, tap the throw button, you kind of drop throw it. Uh, I don't even know where the hell that went. But you can also hold it to aim, which is why I'm not sure I want it on the Y button because you might want to still be using this, you know, the, using the right stick to look around. But we'll see. I mean, but it works. And, as you can see over there on the left little window, you know, everything that you do is highlighted in green. Just as a test. So, okay, I think that that's sufficient. That's all I really wanted to show you. You now know how to assign throw to the profile. So let's get the hell out of here before my guy gets killed. Uh, what else would I want to show you about XPatter, since this is slightly different as a type of video. Alright, well, yeah. So this, like, you click on the view head, that has different commands, so nothing is highlighted on the keyboard. For that, you need to click into Advanced. And then that's going to show you, you know, that I have it set, uh... <laughs> to a couple of different things. And you can change those, you can change the timing for them, for the hold. These are uh, release zones and hold zones. So you do that if you wanted to have a tap and then you wanted to have a hold command. You can also add a cycle stop, that would be like for cycling through things, but I found that Daisy doesn't really work very well for that because it'll just kind of stack up the animations. So if you do it for your inventory and you do, you know, like one, two, three, four, well, it's going to go through one, two, three, four and do all this shit that you had assigned there instead of just quickly cycling through them. So I'm that's total babbling, but I do use the cycle stop in other games. Like I've, I'm using it in, uh, in my Rust profile, I believe. So that will show you, you know, just so you can see uh, how to change some of that in there. Uh, the walk jog. I've had some questions about that. How do I change that? Well, that, same thing, go into advanced, and this is a distance zone. So this is showing you that, you know, it's W and uh, shift up to 50%, which you could change the distance right here. W is from, would be 51 to 98. 99% and up is the sprint. So you can change it all around to your own preference. All right. So trying to keep this quick and short, which I feel like it's already pretty long and boring and meandering, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of how to use XPatter and you can assign the throw. So that's in there now. But I'm not really making that official because I have I just don't have the time right now to test it out and make sure it's working okay. But that's how you would assign it. So that's it. If you like this, you know, leave me a comment if this is a good idea. Instead of me just making a demonstration in the game showing you the profile, would you prefer that I try to, you know, open up the curtain and let you see behind, see how it's actually working in XPatter? I don't know. Whatever. Let me know. I gotta go to sleep. See you later.